Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make chia jams. Specifically, I'm making a strawberry chia jam, but you could really use any type of berry or jam making fruit that you prefer or that you have on hand. Now, you'll notice that I'm working with fresh berries today, but do note that you could also use frozen berries as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. If you're looking for more easy, healthy recipes in your life, you are in the right place. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss a new recipe. Now, the beauty of chia jam is that it has way less sugar than traditional jellies and jams, and you're getting all the health benefits of the chia seed. So lots of fiber, good healthy fats, quality protein, and tons of antioxidants. And those, my friends, are not nutrients that you find in your everyday jam. So to get started, I have one pound of fresh organic strawberries. It's about three cups of berries. I'm gonna rinse them under some cold water. Then I will trim off the leafy green top and give them a rough chop. Cutting them up like this just helps them to cook a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. They break down in the pot a lot faster. Once I've got them all cut and ready to go, I'll transfer them into a medium sized saucepan and then I'm gonna bring it over a medium low heat and let it cook for about 10 minutes, stirring it pretty frequently. You're gonna see as it heats up, the strawberries begin to release a lot of their juices and it's gonna become very loose and bubbly and nice and soft and tender. So what I like to do is just grab a potato masher and start to break them down a little bit more. Now, if you didn't have a potato masher, you could do this with the back of a fork or a spatula. You basically just want to break the berries down to the texture that you prefer. Personally, I like this jam to be a little bit thicker with nice big chunks of berries in there, so I don't take it too far. But if you like your jam really smooth, you would just break it down until the berries are processed a bit more. Then I'm going to turn my heat off and into the pot, I'm adding a tablespoon of bright, fresh lemon juice and then three tablespoons of chia seeds. You could use white chia seeds or black chia seeds. They are both exactly the same, nutritionally speaking. They just have a different color. And then finally, one tablespoon of honey. I like to add this just to round the flavors out a bit. That could also be maple syrup, or if you wanted a sugar-free option, you could use some monk fruit. But I do recommend testing the jam so you can decide how much sweetener you want to add. If you're using a berry like raspberries, they tend to be a little bit more sour, so you might wanna add an extra tablespoon or two of sweetener. But again, it's completely personal preference, so just taste as you go. Get all the chia seeds worked throughout, and then you're going to see that as the jam cools, it's gonna thicken up a bit, and that's because of the chia seeds. So just let it come down in temperature, and then you can transfer it into an airtight container. And you can see how much thicker my jam has become now that it's cooled, and I love using these little mason jars for storage. Now, because this jam is so fresh and doesn't use any preservatives, it will last up to one week in the refrigerator, or you could even pop it in the freezer if you wanted it to go for a few months. One of my favorite ways to enjoy this strawberry chia jam is to toast up a fat slice of whole grain bread and then top it with some peanut butter and a big shmia of the strawberry chia jam right over the top. So simple, such a classic, and so delicious. I also really love it stirred into oatmeal or stirred into Greek yogurt or some cottage cheese, but really, you can enjoy this chia jam any way you would enjoy a traditional jam. Mm. Mm. I can't wait for you to give this recipe a try. And when you do, don't forget to snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. So much less sugar. And you're going to get the health benefits of the chia seed. Chia seeds, lots of fiber, lots of protein, lots of healthy fats, and tons of antioxidants. That's not something you find in your everyday jelly jam. <laughs>